Hello Elements users, welcome to this tutorial on selection using the uh, some of the new selection tools in Adobe Elements 5. Yes, yes, I know, there's Adobe Elements 6 available, but I got at Elements 5 with my bamboo and I'm not about to go out and buy 6 as well. And besides, I use Photoshop most of the time. So, here are your selection tools. You've got your rectangular and elliptical, and their keyboard shortcut is M. You've got your lassoes, and they're all L. You got lasso, magnetic, and polygonal. And uh, come on, go away. And these are the new ones: the magic, magic selection brush tool, and the selection brush tool. So we're going to start off with this one in this uh, very pretty picture of this. I think this is a hibiscus. Yeah, it is. Uh, what you do to select this is just take the tool. It's always in red. Its default color is red, but I changed it to yellow so I could do this red flower. Because I want you to see this. And around and around. And Photoshop does the selection for you. There you go. Now, there's a bit of a problem here. You see this is missing. Uh, can I move over? Yes, I can. Okay, so we just take our normal lasso tool and we just go down here and you can see how easy it is with my Wacom tablet. There we go. Fixed. And there's another one that's a bit of a problem. And that's right here. And it comes whoa, up here and down again. And there's that one done. And there's a third one over here. Well, there's one right there. I guess we could fix that just a little bit. That's a lot easier than uh, trying to go around it. I guess you could also use the uh, the magic wand to do this. But it's not nearly as fun. Okay, there we go. There's our selection. And we're going to do a Control or Command J to get it onto a new level, or new layer. And turn off the background. And there it is, and you can see what a great selection it is. So for a fairly, I guess you call it hom homogeneous, homogeneous, I don't know what the, how, the, how to say it correctly, that's how you get rid of it, or how you select it out. Okay, so the next one, we're going to use this fine little butterfly, monarch butterfly, and we're going to select the other tool. And here it is right here, the selection brush tool. There's a couple different ways to do it. You can do it in mask mode or you can do it in selection mode. Now if I zoom in a bit here, in selection mode, right here, what you get is this. Okay, it's making a little selection as you go and you can pick it up and, and make a, a different selection and you don't get rid of the first one. So with my pen, I can be fairly accurate. Now I prefer to use the masking mode and this is the masking mode and what it's doing here is uh, not what I really want it to do so I'm going to step back and start this over again uh, undo it undo it there now with the masking mode I get this red this red paint that I'm doing in here and what I'm masking is not going to be selected. So once I've finished the butterfly, I have to invert it in the selections. But that's all fairly straightforward and simple to do. So you can see how accurate it is and how easy it is to do a, a an edge with this. And as I pick up the pen and move it around, nothing changes. If I go to the uh, one of the other tools, you can see what I've got selected so far. So this is a, a really good way of doing it and it's fairly accurate and uh, you can take your time go away for a while collect your wits come back do it again if it's a driving you crazy if this is a kind of a thing that drives you nuts and you can do fairly intricate things with it as well you can see there's a little leg there and there's a little area that I don't want selected uh, so there we come down here whoops I'm going rid of the picture you can't see that can you and here well, she can't even see that one. Well, I'm not doing you much good. There you go. And I keep forgetting that I've only got 340 by 
320 by 240 or something like that. I want to do the full screen. Okay, so I'm going to do this whole butterfly, but it's going to take like forever to do it. So I'm going to just pause this thing for a minute. Uh, while I finish it, then we'll come back and we'll work on these fairly intricate parts. So just hang on. Uh, go get yourself a drink. I'll be back in a few minutes. Hello, I'm back. And I've got all the other stuff done, so now we're just going to fill in these little antennae. And there, I've got a one pixel brush doing this. And we're coming down, down here, get that one. Oops, I went offline. Tisk oh, tisk. Okay, and down up here. This little butterfly was paying me a visit one day, sitting on some of my rows of Sharon's out front. And we'll get this one, and around here with that. Now his legs are a little bit fatter, so I can, I can get working on that. And you can see how easy it is to use a tablet. If you want to do good work with Photoshop, and really selections are, you know, you gotta you gotta master selections, or you gotta get at least somewhat good at them, um, if you're going to be doing any Photoshop work or Elements work, because they're so. Uh, you, you do them so often, and knowing how to do it and being able to do it well is is a good thing. And the best way to do it is with a tablet and a pen, because you've got that accuracy. Now, when you're using a tablet and a pen, you're going to have a learning curve because you're going to try and use the thing like a mouse, and uh, you got to get over that. Once you get over it, it's it's amazing how accurate you can be. Okay, now let's zoom back and see how our our little butterfly is looking. So that's it, it's all red now. And if I click on any other tool, there you can see that it's uh, it's selected, but also the whole thing is selected, so I have to do the inverse. So I'm just going to invert it. There, the butterfly is selected. Now let's jump this up to a new layer. Control or Command J. And turn off the background. And there's our butterfly. Now it's kind of hanging in space, right? We'd have to rep uh, we could uh, uh, rotate it, or we could add another layer in between. Uh, let's put a new layer in there, and we could fill it with a color. Uh, blue is here now, so let's just uh, there we go. That's our butterfly. So that's how you do this, and it really is pretty good, and it's uh, it's a nice tool. And we'll zoom in a bit and bring it down so you can see how he's. So there's maybe a couple little things off right in here. But uh, overall, it's a pretty good selection. So I hope you've learned something about using the selection tools in Photoshop. And uh, give them a try. I think you'll really like them. And really, I do appreciate you watching my video. And I hope you come and pay my website a visit. You'll see it on the last uh, slide of this video. And you take care and have fun with your selections.